Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the MDL Changsha Major Grand Finals. VGJ Storm facing off against LGD, and we are going to continue this lovely panel that we got going here. Brian, Kyle, the two greatest minds that NA Dota uh, doesn't have at tournaments. How are you guys doing? NA has. I don't know. I'll take I it. tried. You I don't know, know what I was it. doing, man. I'll take it. <laughs> At this point, you know, compared to the things Kyle calls me, I'll take it. Yeah, it wasn't great, but we move on. That's okay. You're too nice of a guy. I yeah. try so hard. I just want to, hey, guys, come on. Let me jump around in there, too. But no, it's not happening. That's all good. All with a smile on your face, just as yeah. nice can be. Doesn't have the same, you know, zing to it. No, it doesn't. It's but I admire, the, I admire your desire to belong. Yeah. Uh, VGJ Storm had priority this game. They chose first pick. LGD taking Radiant seems to be the order of priority for Dota at the moment. Uh, Night Stalker Clock once again banned by LGD. DP. I think those are critical bans. I don't do Wisp. DP. Yeah. Mm. Of course it's Wisp. But I, I, I think... Oof. I'm curious. I'm curious to see how LGD responds. Do they just go DP again? Because I think they do. I think like DP plus any of the catching heroes that we've seen, Disruptor, Tusk, anything like that. There's also a gyro left unbanned, which is the one hero we've seen with uh, with Wisp just seem unstoppable. Yeah, that's the thing that's tough, right? If you let that through. Um, but again, if you take it, then maybe they could yeah. just go Io Morphlane. But it looks like they're comfortable doing this. Um, Do I they take DP again? I feel like there's no reason not to. LGD has not played a game against Wisp at this tournament. Okay. That they go the Disruptor, so I... I don't. I'm not surprised by that pick at all. But I am a bit surprised they skipped the DP. I guess, like you I said, they're just too scared against, of the gyro. Yeah, against yeah. Wisp. I think if you're going to take core plus support, you're better off taking the gyro. Because okay. if you go DP disruptor, you're just playing against gyro Io, and then at some point you just lose. And neither of those two heroes actually has a stun, so the, mm -hmm. the gyro pushes Flak BKB. Yeah. So you could go like you were talking about there, the DP themselves if they want to take that. Um, it's just not a great Io partner. It's a problem. Yeah. I think you ban it second phase. Doom is also a possibility since there isn't that IO save. But they're going to take it. I don't know if I like it, guys. Uh, Yawar's played it quite well at this tournament, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm just I'm not a huge fan. It puts you kind of all in on sustain, whereas the LGD style of having like these two heroes that are innately tanky with abilities to sustain through a fight and then the supports like Offer peel or save or catch vision. Dangling, tangling. Yeah, exactly. Now you're gonna have a lot of uh, mix. You're not gonna play AA, I guess, if you're LGD, but it just yeah. drastically increases the value of, say, a spirit vessel. All of a sudden, that just renders the wisp tether worthless when they target down your death prophet. Well, here that scares me as a peel type hero. Yeah. They could have also just banned out the Death Prophet if they were worried about LGD getting in and just taking something else in that range, too. So it's not like they had to take that or you know LGD was going to get it. Um, yeah. I just feel like if they don't... I feel like LGD can pick... I said PL as a type of hero. I just mean that uh, elusive type hero on the right. side of LGD that if you put it in tandem with the team fight they already have as well as like the counterplay to the relocate, I, I just don't really know how VGJ sets up advantageous team fights, even with these, just these two opening heroes. Um, a lot of Wisp partners have been banned already. The Io Gyro, or Io Gyro obviously blocked the Io Luna, something we've been seeing a lot of. Razor is the other one that comes to mind. And I don't know if that really fits with the DP Io. I, I wouldn't have minded a Razor. As the second pick? Storm, yeah. yeah. I would like that a lot more. Yeah, it kind of counters the Gyro. Yeah, just I, I like picking Wisp with heroes that utilize the sustain and move speed, right? I think that that's what the new Wisp really wants to play with. DP already has meth. Like, you don't need a Wisp to keep your DP alive. He's itemizing to do that. You can't really itemize to deal more damage or just move faster on the map as a profit. Take out the Doom themselves now. Yeah, it's, the, it's a right ban. That's a great ban. Morph Doom. You don't care about Slark that much because you have Disruptor. And it just doesn't really fit VGJ's lineup too well at the moment. But that Doom with a Wisp, like, that that's crazy. Because then you're just diving with two heroes instead of one. And you just kind of crush the gyro the whole game. What about, like, a Sand King here for mm. LGD? I just think they need some hero that splits up the map. And you maybe don't even need it from a core role. They could play a Chen as well. Okay. That'd be something different. There was first phase banned out from them last time these two teams met uh, by VGJ Storm. 
I really like Chen against Wisp. I think uh, heavy, uh, minion heroes that kind of pressure lanes very early on. Wisp, no real method of wave clear. Ooh, okay. that's another ET. one we've seen. The vision from the spirit synergizes with the disruptor glimpse. The counter initiation is quite strong, but that sets up a lot of heroes that don't. I don't know. They don't die to these two heroes sometimes. Like these PLs, these life stealers, these jugs, these type mm -hmm. of heroes. So no be agree. careful of that. We've seen some Wisp PL, a hero that the AGS upgrade is quite nice. What's your support here for SVG? I don't like Jakiro too much. There's not much left for them to... Yeah, there needs to be something that sets up the relocate. Bane uh, has Bane's already banned out in banned. the first yeah, phase. Yeah, that already came to mind. They did Jakiro and Wyvern in the past. I don't like either one of those heroes here. But they go for the Jakiro. I don't uh, like it either. Just does you got look all those three heroes kind of want to play the same role in a fight, right? I mean, obviously Death Prophet can go in a bit deeper, but you're gonna have a Jakiro and Wisp that I just feel like they're gonna get isolated at some point in the back lines, and they're just gonna get killed by a flak. They need reach, and I think Slark's yeah. the only carry I see that does it. Slark into ET disruptor though. I'm yeah, saying I don't like. I'm saying I do not like uh. the fact that Slark. Like that's why I was saying I don't like the Jakiro pick. I don't think there's any other carry that offers the type of reach that they need. Yeah, it's a great. That's the isolation. The also, you're talking about like I, you can do it even further. You just win team fights now. You already have the reach just thanks to the disruptor, right? You have a gyrocopter that can just go kamikaze through the lines of VGJ, and now you have a brew uh, dispelling all the Jakiro spells, which is kind of moot. But it's just pretty much how many times you see the Chalice brew. Like you can't team fight into it. Mm -hmm. Is this a Jugger Life Stealer game with all this magic yep. damage? Magic immunity is so good. They either need an early BKB hero. Or they need one of those two heroes. Yeah. It's going to be Jug Life Stealer, I think, for sure. But I just, I look at the PSG draft, I think, holy crap, that team fight. And Wisp, you want to be able to split the map and then connect for fights. But I don't know how you ever team fight into the lineup of PSG LGD right now. It just, it's too powerful. Look at the AoE. Look at the, <laughs> the raw damage output and yeah. the amount of bubbles of death they can place on the ground. That's some intimidating stuff. Bubbles of Bubbles death. Of death. So there's the Slark. You guys talked about it. It's a rough Slark game, but it's, it's what just, they need to do. It's so slow. I said it was the only carry that made sense to me with the Jakiro just because they lack reach and mobility mm -hmm. on the map. But in, by no means does that mean I feel like it's a good pick. I just didn't think any other carry fit the way they want to play this game. So what do Ichi J Storm still need out of their draft right now then? A miracle. Uh, sorry, they need a snaking hero that <laughs> changes Wrong their team. win condition. I, I fi maybe it, it's got to be something that just goes in. Because right now, your Jakiro and your Wisp like are still very exposed. A Badden isn't terrible, but I think you might need something like with Omni a Knight? stun. I think you need an oh. axe. You either all in on this idea that your Slark DP, you can just play around them to win you the game and you go like this full support style, or you pick some sort of BKB piercing disable and or massive team fighter. Team yeah. Like ah. another Enigma maybe or something like that, but even that's tough. Enigma ah. into ET is so rough. Yeah. I think there'll be, I honestly think they'll pick the Abaddon type hero. Make the Slark's game playable uh, outside of like him just dying on if he gets gone on initially. They don't have like any instant disable on LGD. But yeah. I would say Darkseer if it wasn't a really bad Darkseer game. I just want to say, no if they don't ban it. Void, I feel like Five they actually just lose on the side of VGJ Storm. Like, I think this is way too free of a Void game. It goes with everything they have. It's never going to die. They can play as four without the Void. Like, they don't actually need Void to do stuff, but then Void can be on its own all game. Mm -hmm. Against the IO, that's super high value to have. Especially with ET, with a gyre, like you have so much damage. Yeah, into that's a what chrono. I mean. Yeah, I, if you pick Slark and you don't ban Void here, either this last hero deals with it, or I think you just get Voided. A hero that we don't see too often, but that does not change the fact that if it's a really good game for any hero, as we just saw with Spectre, mm -hmm. that a last pick hero can be quite mm -hmm. game changing. And you can just shove the gyro into the mid lane if you need to. Yeah, yeah that's the thing about gyro. They ban Quap. I think they're going to pick Void. I mean, that would also have been pretty terrifying. Mm -hmm. Like, that would just kill Slark yeah. every time. 
Yes. To reiterate, I think something LGD is doing quite well in this patch is just they're always itemizing to accelerate. And when they're ahead, they buy items that allow them to stay ahead. We saw that last game, the Radiance Rush, Voidstone first, they go Beastmaster. So it is it is a BKB piercing disable. It is IO Beastmaster, but again, into Gyro, into ET, into Brew, it's like the, the Brewmaster Dispel instantly kills Necrobook until level 3. You have... ET for the hard counter initiation, and you you kind of need to wreck the lane now with the IO Beast. Like they have to do work. And, and I this think they pick Peel. Yeah, this combo owned NA for a long time, but yeah. LGD is a different beast, and I would agree. I think PL or some other illusion based carry. I think a a CK could be nuts as well. Terrorblade as well. Ember. Ooh. That's different. That's very, very different. So they, they decided to put the yeah, Gyro in the safe lane against the IO Beastmaster. I was a little bit surprised about that, but Gyro's a hero that can definitely fight back against these type of lanes. This gives them an ability to play the off lane as well. Like, not the off lane, but like the, the lane apart from the team and always be able to connect with that bots rush. I don't know why I was coming up with Ame Heroes when he's playing the Gyro, um, but I don't mind that for, for Samus. I thought they would try to move the gyro to the yeah. mid lane here. Yeah, personally. I think I think a st I would have preferred a storm, I think, because it would have given them like the top of the stack, like Trump core, where at a certain point in the game he just will win it for you. But the physical damage Ember could do some serious work. It, it's it's all about resolution, Slark. If he can take over the game, that enables the rest of his draft. But you're gonna have so much vision, you have so much sustain. He needs to be the one utilizing that for them to actually have a prayer. And it can definitely be one. Let's check out the laning phase, and you know we'll see what happens. For sure. Well, game number two now. Vici J Storm facing off against LGD, and certainly a lot of pressure right now on the Vici J Storm team. I am interested to see what they're capable of doing with this, because like you said, NA combo. It's been around a long time. They know what uh, they can do with it, and snaking on the Beast Master. It's incredibly strong laner. Mm -hmm. Probably might run into some issues with the axes early on. I like that they're going to put ET down here, though. I really think that's the right choice. You you need this bruiser in this lane, and uh, otherwise you can just kind of get crushed. And bear in mind, IO Beast, never ever target the Beastmaster. You will lose. That is the name of the game. Got to get the Wisp. And they have triple mango on the Beastmaster as well as the ET, so you know this is like it's already assumed by the matchup, but it is just going to be an all-out trade fest bottom lane. And whatever team gets ahead in levels, I think. Like, level 3 really crucial, I think, for both teams. Especially level 2 for the VGJ Storm side. It's kind of like a race in the early game. Because that lane will snowball quite quickly one way or the other. Resolution. Just going to get Thunderstruck up here with Chalice. Giving him a couple of the punches. And also skilling up the clap as well. So, Rezo, if you're gonna, you might as well pounce there, buddy. That was really strange to me. I guess he, he just took four hundred. He took a salve's worth of damage. He's got five health regen innately. He's fine. I guess he doesn't show what he has there. Mm. It's the only benefit, but yeah. Lots of damage taken. Trading off the runes. Two apiece. Yeah, it's so good from LG, though. They, they don't give you anything for free. Like, the laning combination they've, they've got is the best they could do, right? You've got your Disruptor Brew top, where you can just kind of mess with the Slark, and you, you don't want to put a Brew up here by himself. You kind of just get zoned by Jakiro. Bottom, you need the ET here. A Disruptor against IO Beast, you're, you're just food. You mean nothing. You're going to harass with Thunderstrike, that's going to get healed by one Tango of IO, and then you're just worthless, and you're the one that ends up dying. And you also don't project your gyro at all yeah. either. Look at this. They just rocket the wisp and they're running at him. F 100 damage on the ET. That is a big old problem as he is taking a lot of damage here. Is Needs he two more hits and then they can find the kill. Fairy Fire. Nope. And they're going to be able to back out. And instead it might be FY that's in a little bit of trouble. Turns it around again with the spirit <laughs> and FY. <laughs> well, he's not perfect. They missed all the CS during that though. Every single creep on the Radiant side was missed in terms of XP as well as the CS. That's what IO Beast Master can do. It's really, uh, you just gotta be super safe because they will just kill you by axes. Well, and then in the top lane, like we were talking about, X Nova taking a good bit of harassment. They're still pressuring down bottom though. And trying to man up FY. They've also got that missile down on MSS with the flat cannon. Gain harassment. He's gonna tether away to the creep wave and manage to escape. Resolution is going to be hurt in top. Like, this is not a lane that Slark wants to be in. He has to utilize Dark Pack if he wants to get rid of the mischance, and you can't really afford to 
like sustained through the own damage. He's out of tangos. He's got one left. Yeah, he had to use two in order to counteract that 400 damage he took at the start of the game. That's going to add up in the game in, a tr in lanes like this where it's all about trading. SVG might go down top. Nope, he's going to get away. FY might go down though. Bottom as they do Chalice have another round of X's. Almost there, but not quite going to be able to find it. And MSS is going to die also. So Resolution kills off Chalice while well, Ame kills MSS. You're okay with this, in truth, because the gyro level 6 is what actually stops the VGJ pressure. If you can get him ahead, even if it requires this, the blood sacrifice of FY, you don't mind. Oddly enough, Chalice going down in the top lane was not really expected. They tried to go on to the Jakiro, but the attack speed slow from the dual breath just yeah. made it an easy turn for the Slark. But it doesn't really change the state of the lane here, even though Rezo is highest level. He has no more sustain. He's got to fly some out on the courier, but that courier is bottom. So I think Jakiro is actually walking all the way back to base to pick up his items. He's buying himself a salve and a tangos, and I think he's just going to give them to the Slark. Jeez. It's nice, nice little job there from uh, SVG helping out his buddy. That's not what you want to have to do as mid lane, burning through that mana shield. Somnus, forced back again, but he's got his bottle already. And you are just about out of mana. You're fine with that, I think. I mean, Ember is doing, this is definitely unfavorable for Ember, but that he's kept up this well, even at the early levels, quite nice. It's all be about the room control now for both sides. Still a DD bottom. Oh, Beastmaster might die here. Yep, he's, he's put. They had the salve and tried to. U they actually used it on Io to see if they could heal him back up in time, but Black with the missile hit. Yep, Jaro, one of the best laners for this, especially if you have like. Uh, I don't know if it's doable with any hero other than ET, to be honest. Like, it's just the strongest four in this level one to three phase of the game. Well, more pressure coming out. They don't really have a plan B outside of just keeping running in here and seeing if they can make some kills happen. Slark has six CS. Yeah, and this 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 IO beast lane had to dominate. You had to force the disruptor to come bottom, and that's just not happening right now. Oh God, is Snaking dead again? He's taking a lot of damage here, but yeah. they can't dive for that one. Instead, it's just going to keep on dominating this, getting more denies on the creeps. Gyrocopter 16 and 10. Yep, and this lane, like I mentioned, is going to snowball, one way or the other. And now it's in favor of LGD, which Beastmaster is a feast or famine hero. That's kind of new. Just looking super scary. VGJ already. Not only are they behind, but again, it feels like the Slark Beastmaster have to snowball. Otherwise, you're gonna like. How do you, how do you combat the pace of the LGD draft? You're gonna have an Ember Gyro all over the map. Disruptor glimpses to set up kills and brew just to ensure that every team fight that he gets to split off, like you can do nothing but run. Oh, and snaking and MSS getting ran down here. They almost kill off the IO. Are they gonna be able to get it in time? The movement's slow from the spirits, but he wasn't able to toggle them, obviously. And that means they do go down snaking, trying to find the finish, but the stomp not gonna be there in time. Yep. Vame had an extra point in Flak there. He's, save, he's still saving one point, puts it in Q now, but would have actually just killed him with the Flak. But he will collect both bounty runes, it looks like, if he can beat the Wisp. Oh, nice. And he will. Well, they're going to glimpse back Resolution. He does manage to get away from them there. SVG bounty also rune? being ran down. A value. Gets it away. Ah, it's damage, but he does end up going down. Rezo is suffering up here, and he had to go. He went boots first as well, so his... His laning phase is not actually increased in strength, and there's no real help that's going to come his way. There's no bottle on MSS, so it's not as if he can ever TP in to like turn something around. At least he's probably going to hit level six before the brew, which is a consolation prize to say the least. It is a tough one for sure. Uh, you are so far is definitely the one that's having the best time out of anybody in the game right now. 34 and eight on him. He's going to need to carry a lot of weight from his team. He's in trouble uh, now. He is though. actually maybe just going to go down. They find the sleep as well. Spirit Siphon going to wear off now, and no Somnus burn. comes back in. They do have remnants, but are going to decide to go in with it now. MSS trying to keep his buddy alive, but it's not happening. He's just going to feed away his own life as well as they find MSS, and they give the kill over to the Ember. Jeez. So good by maybe. He walks out of the Spirit Siphon range, then remnants back in. Notice something familiar, guys? Two heroes connect mid. The other cores are sitting in their lanes. Yeah. Oh, are you saying that they have a play style? Mm. Mm. Just both support. They just connect mid all the time. They help out maybe's hero. It's always like this tempo controller. Haven't seen an Ember in at least, 
a maybe Ember in a while. I, I miss this Radiant player hero combo. Because he played it once at this tournament, but the, the, that closeout uh, group stage game against TNC, but uh, uh, that doesn't count. And bear in mind, they were playing against this Beastmaster, and once again they had the Brew Gyro Ember Core, so another bread and butter draft for LGD, even if we don't see it very often. And I think Yuar's just dead. Yeah, the Hastern was picked up there and maybe runs in. So that is two deaths in a very short period of time for the Death Prophet, which means he's probably not going to have a TP to get yep. back out there. And Resolution is having a bad game right now. Also, you said just now hitting level five. He's getting close to six, but not there yet. 2,000 gold lead right now at seven and a half minutes. Seems to be a way to combat VGJ. You just pressure Yawar, and then you just... Nerf resolution lane phase, bottom lane. I think Snaking. Dead, beast. dead again, not level six himself. They are just getting ran over here. And now top lane also, they're trying to find something, but the brew split comes out, and that's going to keep Chalice alive and even might be able to find a kill here on the MSS if he wants to. They've lifted up the Slark, still chasing down this Io, and he is going to keep taking the He's punches dead. to maybe the face, here. trying to jump, and yeah, maybe shows up. And triple kill for Ame, eight minutes in. This is feeling damn near over. Once, I mean, maybe rotates, but he had already pushed the lane mid into tower. He lost two creeps. Bottom lane still just FY sitting there now against the Jakiro, who actually TP'd there. Good TP by SVG, but uh, what do you do? You can't play fast enough to deal with them. You, your draft is too slow. You have IO Jakiro. Neither support can make plays. You're completely reactive, and the three cores of LGD are such that you can't actually stop them. Like, they go for the brook. He just splits. Yeah. Can't keep up with like when you say they're active, like they're reactive. There's too many places that LG could possibly be active, that it's impossible to like prepare for all of them. And they're just gonna wait for you to show where the heroes are in one lane, and then they're just gonna collapse on the other. Well, maybe an opportunity here. Snake King does have his level six and is gonna be able to zone out the Elder Titan, but has to be careful about any rotations because they'll come so quickly. As it looks like mid lane yet again, Somnus has found himself. You are. Not willing to dive for that one, but can still just keep on denying out creeps here as TP's coming in. Snaking. Rocking. Snaking. Oh, Io trying to get his buddy out of harm's way, but it is just, yeah. it happens too quickly. And, and MSS is going to be glimpsed back in now as well. They take down the Io. 12 to 3, 4,000 gold lead. Yep, look mid, there's maybe. Look top, there's brew. Once again, both supports linking up to the core. They find kills, they make plays. And this theory of, uh, I always said it was like one plus one. LGD has turned it into one plus two, where in theory, your support plus core X equals kill. In mm -hmm. this sense, they just rotate both supports, and wherever they are on map, if there's an equal number of heroes against them, that trio is going to be stronger, no matter which core they're playing around. And this seems to be the sense of every single game they play. All of their heroes have this ability to be the strongest on map when linked with the, when, when linked with the two supports. Well, Chalice now trying to see if he can secure himself a bounty rune. Resolution is going to take that one away from him. So VGJ trying to get whatever they can, but it's still a trade-off two for two. I don't know what you do from here. Treads on, on maybe. I haven't seen this in a while. He's going for the blade mail. I don't mind it in this sort of game. You can't really prevent Slark's damage if he pounces you with no remnant. DP has no power to stop her ghosts, and you want a little bit of that armor as an Ember Spirit. Yeah. I think we saw it a couple of times in the group stages, but uh, definitely a revelation that's been looking quite good. And we just haven't seen a roar. We haven't been able to see, you know, a DP ulti. Yeah, he just no skilled plays. it. Yeah. There's just nothing you can do. So what happens when the other team wins the laning stage. They just have more resources than you. It takes them less heroes to accomplish the same thing. And you can't just collapse four heroes on one lane with the VGJ Storm's lineup. They can't just say, we're behind. Let's group up. Let's do something. That's not like possible they, they with their lineup. They have an IO lineup. Yeah. Once again, they don't have heroes that can even do that. Who rotates? The DP? Yeah. He, his game was completely shat on. Slark is Slark, and he had a bad game. Beastmaster wasn't able to take over his lane, which is how it works, right? You snowball. You kill that bottom tower, and then you can look to move elsewhere. But they just they got bodied down here. Yeah. The only lane that won for them was the DP lane, and then they just collapsed on it, like you said, with three heroes, and suddenly that's three for three. And that's why the top three cores are mm -hmm. all on the side of LGD. Yep. Disruptor gets level six bot off the wave. They rotate mid with the smoke. Som is going to push this in. And you, once again, oh. a core plus two supports. They're so ready with both yep. of those ultimates online as Look well. Look at Ame in the neighborhood as well. Uh, they're just going to jump for it. They find themselves. You are as Chalice is going to be able to kill off SVG. Static Storm already down. He is going to get relocated out. Okay, you are living. 
you take it. <laughs> well, you're just going to lose a tower for that. That's worst case yeah. scenario. Meanwhile, Chalice just freely took top lane. We're onto the ET. That is a medallion. He's probably going to go down here, which he does, but Som is coming in behind. Smart getting the disruptor. He gets him before he TPs out. That's actually two kills for the side of EGJ. Buys back on the ET. And are they going to get the gyro? Do they have any way to catch him here? They're TPing the Beastmaster, but he has no roar. Oh, wrong direction there. He's still running the away. Jukes. This kill on Ame is pretty big, and they huh. do have him. And just going to TP away, but not happening. So a big win there for VGJ Storm, but huh. it took a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's a step in the right direction. Slark oh. could get out of control this game. Hey, I like it. You know, I had a theory. I was, ta I, I was talking about this with a friend last night, that Maelstrom was this secretly OP item, right, that, that LGD was abusing. And look at what the Zembers got queued up now. Yeah. Not the Blade Mail, which I could see the logic for, but I think this fits the style of LG's play a bit more, where don't just get an item that helps you if you're being targeted. Just do more damage, and if you can't fight heroes, you're going to kill creeps a hell of a lot faster. And I'm telling you, this Maelstrom item gives you more than the cost of the components, right, with no recipe. Any item that does that is naturally going to be nice in this early mid-game. He skips the drums, but you still want this little bit of build up before you go into like some huge item. I, just, I like it. 170 magical damage per proc, ain't yep. no joke. It also doesn't miss anymore after yeah. the javelin changes. Well, a s not a smoke up actually here. Some yeah. is going to pop that shrine instead and they're going to be able to dissuade VGJ Storm from going any further forward. Things looking a little bit better, but it did feel like it was a lot of just LGD messing up in that last one, diving too far yeah. when they shouldn't have. Let's see if it happens again. Yeah. Just, it's actually... Um, Sorry, I'm just a bit high on this maelstrom right now, but for nothing, right? For you get the cost, you get what the components give you, but instead of a hundred damage, 25% proc, it's a hundred seventy to four targets. Yeah, Th that's pretty significant considering you pay nothing for that bonus. Right. Looking to get something done in the mid lane, VGJ. They have roar, but I don't Ooh, think Thomas dies in this roar. They see him, but yeah, it's too hard to make that happen. They can rotate back bottom, and they've got good wards in the Radiant Jungle, but they're just going to take an ancient stack. That's a solid, uh, you know, consolation, I guess. Is it? Nope. <laughs> if you look at the okay. vision they have, look at all the vision that they've placed now as Dire. Like this ping pong of wards, but what is LGD doing? They're immediately, they, they've escaped containment, Lyrical. They're getting in there on top of them. They are breaking out, and SVG falling down. And all of a sudden, all these wards are completely worthless because LGD is just going to play your side of the map now. They have a blink on Brew. Gyro's hit a timing. I mean, he's just... How do you stop? How do you team fight them right now with your Wisp lineup? Yeah, I mean, it, it does feel like it's going to need to come off the back of the Snake King roar. And he's going for a Shadow Blade, so you set up for that maybe. You can go for a relocate. But as you've talked about time and again, where are you taking those fights and what objectives are you getting afterwards? Uh, Look at LG, they all just TP top. They're going to find Ame, but is this really what you want to do? Oh, he decides he does not want to be in this world anymore. The ice pad down, Io about to die. And the missile also going to chase resolution. The end of the earth, this Chalice finds himself a kill on a snaking. Also, Somnus is chasing down this Jakiro. He is going to die. A double for that Ember. So fast. LGD, they take tier one. All of a sudden, all five heroes are top. And you can't fight them as if they are grouped. And there isn't enough burst damage like the Slark could theoretically open on the Gyro, but he's got 1,500 HP. He skilled the health talent instead of damage. You, you aren't going to touch this guy. Yeah. He's getting Assange before the Asha, too. That's something I haven't seen in quite some time. Uh, Slark may be in trouble. But he actually gets Silence on the Disruptor. That should be a kill. Okay. okay. He gets the ultimate on Slark. But no Chalice, ult. no, no brutal. You are chasing down FY. They're going to be able to run this guy down for the moment at least. Another Spirit Siphon charge. They do have Blink on Chalice if they wanted to jump in and see if they could save him, but probably would have fed his life away. Should get a tower off that. Not bad move. Meantime, though, Ame still just mana potting, shoving lane top. Chalice in the jungle. You don't have Bruce split, so you probably don't want to take a big engagement. Blink next on the Ember. He's down bottom with an Invis. Oh, he's just going to kill MSS and then run away. Oh, that hurts. Or he's going to run in. I, he might not care about anything, actually. Rezo finds Chalice. You talked about no Bruce split. They missed the ice path, but still going to be able to find him and gets oh. TP'd out. You needed that. Radiance middle tower. Unfortunate. 
Obviously, this game still not over. It is a Wisp lineup. Only concern I have is there's really no core that targeting Ags makes better at level 15. It's hey, like Beastmaster Roar cooldown. That's like the best one. That's so... Ugh. Not great. That I feels I like I, didn't you build it in turbo? <laughs> Let's not talk about okay. that, okay? <laughs> we lost that game. If they're exactly. taking sweats from me, it's a problem. Kyle? Huh? Did you have something to say? No, I don't know what game you're talking about. I don't lose games of turbo. Although I think I might have lost my last fly. <laughs> Resolution is level 13 now. He picked up a Shadow Blade. I mean, I guess that if you're looking right now at the game for VGJ Storm, can you just try and play pick off Dota? Is that the only thing that you can do now? Pretty much. You have to avoid taking head-on engagements. You can't really walk down lanes, and you can't fight LGD when they walk down lanes. I think they're going to have to eventually get a crucial kill on the Zimber with the Beastmaster Roar into Silence from DP. I like what they're all doing, though. I mean, Chalice going... Blink, it looks like Radiance is queued up. Wow, a Halberd huh. into Maelstrom on the Gyrocopter. I cannot say I've seen this. But it is something that is not cleansed by Slark's Q. Uh, top lane, we have a relocate setup coming. Here comes the Roar. Will they make the play? No. Too risky. Spidey senses for Mame. Yeah. That, was, uh, that looked like it could have been the moment, but I guess not feeling it. And other heroes not showing on the map is the other big thing there. As they uh, he might be in smoke. trouble on Beastmaster. Oh, Snaking, yeah, they just get him. So from turning around what could have been a gank into just dying immediately, Snaking does not feel great about that. And he's going to lose his Helm of the Dominator creep as well. Or that's just... Are they... Did they death profit ulti for that's an Ancient cool. stack? No, just to secure... Oh, wait, yes, they did. Uh-oh. That's a first. No wards, they didn't see it. Those ghosts were not there. Let them come back. Okay, yeah, they never knew about it. They will not. If they don't know, it won't hurt them. Yeah. I think that's how that goes. I mean, it won't hurt them if it doesn't cast it, so. Blink Somnus. They're taking down the Tier 2 towers. And BGJ Storm just trying to find anything in this game at all to latch on to. Working on a Rezo BKB, but Slark certainly has the I get ignored problem in this game. There's just too much health and and crap to deal to chew through on the side of LGD is how I kind of look at it, but doesn't mean they can't still get pickoffs. Just doesn't mean the BKB really means they can fight yet. So it's about 20 minutes in. It's only a 4,000 gold lead. This would be normally be a situation where people would say, "All right, it's not that bad, big of a deal." Why is this so rough right now for VGJ Storm going forward? You know. Uh, I in truth, they can still win fights. Absolutely. They can still take big team fights. It's just that they have so many big, like, almost every hero on, every hero on LGD can drastically turn a fight. Yeah. Especially against the lack of BKBs on VGJ Storm. Like, you need to worry about every single one of these heroes and their contribution to a team fight. Whereas, if you look at VGJ Storm, if the Beast or the DP die before a fight begins, so what do they have left? Like, what, what do they actually do if those heroes don't get the Relocate! Oh, nice war this. target on the Disruptor. Good turnaround. They've got the Macro Pyre down as well. Ice Path misses there as well, but they are still jumping inside of it, and they're going to take down Snaking right at the start of that one as well. Ember lifted up, trying to get out of there in time, but it's not going to happen. Oh. It says one second away, and now they have you, War. They're going to take down the DP for dead. Uh-oh, no. He's DP out. For unknown reasons, Yawar did not have ghosts for that fight. <laughs> But he did get that ancient stack. They got it. Dies with two drains and a 20 stick. Man. And that's one of those things, too, where they saw Snaking going through the jungle by virtue of that sentry ward. They tried to chase it out, and then VGJ maybe just feeling like, all right, well, we're either going to lose Snaking here or we're going to find a return kill. But uh, LGD had time to react, yep. and they made it work. Yeah, keep in mind, Rezo buying a BKB, second item. Whereas the gyro, even though like he, you could argue he needs it more, he's waiting all the way for third. So he's outpacing him just a bit. And if they can use this Slark PKB, it just got completed, to find a fight with ghosts around tier one mid or Roche, you're going to equalize the game. My question is, how are you killing Ember as this game continues? He's going to buy a Lincoln's next. He's Blink, Maelstrom, Yules, Lincoln's. He is going full survivability, in and out, harass, just, you can't stop him, I don't feel. 
and it's going to buy so much space in fights for a Radiance Brew recipe away and a Gyrocopter. Like, yeah. the, the, he doesn't need to deal damage. He just has to keep casting spells and stay alive. Resolution might find X Nova here, but he could just ult him right away. And he does. He doesn't get his ulti off. Has BKB. Are they going to be able to kill this Brew before he split? He doesn't have to actually have split. Okay. Nice pounce. Good BKB. Able to catch him, take him down, and no split means no fight. And they lift up now on the Ember as well, burning through that Flame Guard. The Silence to follow it as well, and Yawar starting to drop down to the Gyrocopter, though, doing so much damage. The Io trying to keep him alive, but it's not going to be enough. And Lark. they turn it back around. They find the kill. Rezo thinking about going back in, but wisely, LGD are going to retreat before he can do that. Yep. Uh, again, I, how does this Wisp stay alive? Who is he tethering, right? He just You can't play with Death Prophet. There's so much AoE. He keeps getting his, uh, he doesn't even have a bottle, but the urn keeps getting canceled. He, he doesn't have the survivability to actually enter these fights just yet. You can see, oh, look at Samus. No dust, unfortunately. Gets oh. the HOD creep, though. I think that was just one of the ones he summoned, the, the Beastmaster. True. Good call. Um, yeah, so the interesting thing about this, too, is it feels like this timing before the Lincolns would have been the moments when you wanted to try and blow up the Ember Spirit yep. with the Shadow Blade Beastmaster, but over and over again, maybe is making sure he's not putting himself in a dangerous yep. position. And As long as he has Yul's, he doesn't fear silence. Yeah. And that's like the only thing that kills him in this game. He dies without it, but wisely, you get the Maelstrom, fastest item for acceleration in this early game, and then right into a Yul's. So you take care of your acceleration, then your survivability. How many times have we seen carries that are no longer in this tournament prioritize them in the opposite? Yeah. It doesn't matter how survivable you are if you can't actually capitalize on the fact that you're surviving. Yeah. I think that's, I mean, of course he's 9, 0, and 8. That helps. But yeah. I mean, that's because of the way he's been playing, though. And that's so crucial. Like, you you could go straight for the Lincolns, for instance, but you have to address there's multiple ways they kill you. And so you first trim up the easy, the cheapest one is how mm -hmm. I usually try to look at it. It's like the cheapest one you can deal with is the Silence by virtue of the Yules. And then you go for this more luxury item earlier or later on in the game. And once you have these like two ways of surviving, both of the ways they can kill you, mm -hmm. they actually just can't kill you. Yep. Well, again, Beastmaster playing in the enemy jungle. He does have that Shadow Blade. They are going to be able to find him, though. Static Storm down. Do they have detection? Yes, they do. And Chalice. they will find the kill. Slark's going for a Nullifier. At least he has a queued up. I don't think that's the item. Ember doesn't care. Brew doesn't really care. I would say Ember probably cares the way he's been playing. A lot of remnants in. You might be able to catch him. You might be too reliant on the Yules, but again, that's where the Lincolns comes in. And all of a sudden, the roar and the nullifier. It doesn't really seem nullified. like, yeah. I feel like if you have nullifier on any hero, you want to be like, I'm going to go on this hero, nullify them, and they'll die. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like that, that'll that happen this game. Chalice might Man, be in I, trouble. I really split. like Ame's build as well. He rec like Again, all these all the heroes recognize that we don't die as PSGLGD. How does how does VJ Storm win a fight? And all three of their cores are. How, how do you actually take them down? Can they get oh, Chalice? They're trying to set up here. This is really smart if they can get it. And they do find him on the way back in and just oh. TPing away. Oh, he does go for the ult. All right. Well played, Chalice. Bottom lane. Like they recognize. Oh, hey, everyone's God. killing, trying to kill him. Let's take the HOD creep and the Wisp for free. TP from Slark. All right, snaking. Opens up there, Roar to find the Gyrocopter. Not bad if Resolution can get this kill, but the BKB comes out as well. Turning, trying to run. Yuar is also here, but they're caught in a kinetic field. They do pop the BKB from the Slark, but now with the rest of LGD showing up, they need to back out. Man. They just leave Chalice top, now with the Radiance. Every Roar that they don't find a kill feels so bad, and they found themselves another here. Yule Scepter into the Ice Path. Oh, he gets out. You can't kill him. So good. It's just so good. And I, I stand by Ame's build is nuts. I, we haven't seen this Halbert first Gyro in a while. It used to be something we'd see um, back at, I want to say, TI7 and a bit afterwards, where you just rush this Halbert on a bunch of heroes and all of a sudden nobody dies. And with the health talent, Halbert BKB, you got the disarm on Slark. Like, how do you actually uh, kill this Gyro now? Chalice does not have a way to get out of there super easily, but the rest of LGD shows oh. up again. and are going to find the Wisp. They just have to run. MSS caught yet again. Tries to tether away, but it's not enough. And he has just been bullied this game yeah. over and over. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Ame is one against two here, and he just doesn't care. He is unkillable. No, SVG. That's the ice path away. Does have a TP scroll. And it looks like he might just get out of there. 
But just look at where all the waves are. Yeah. Like, the LGD naturally just forcing VGJ into a crease. All all the creep waves are pushed. And they're playing three lanes at all times while just stopping to break for breaks in the jungle for a quick respite, some extra gold as well. Feels like like a herding simulator almost. They're just like saying, this is where you're allowed to play, and if you leave, just, just nope, nope, just push right them back there. in. there. That's yep. their play style. And that's just virtue of having heroes that can't die. If you can't die, then anytime you see a hero, you're like, wait a minute, get out of my face. I'm gonna yeah. walk, I'm gonna walk at you. I may not kill you, but you're not allowed to be there, and I am. And that's just by virtue of this gyro and ember build. And again, Snake King just needs to find an opening, then they can maybe relocate in, but nothing has worked so far. None of these roars have really translated into kills at all. And yeah, VGJ has map control back because Ame was taking a triple ancients. So there's no one to be able to play in these side lanes just yet. So LGD just kind of take mid. Ember covers the top wave. They say, okay, bottom's dead, and they're going to probably look to smoke. They have Bruce split. You could also probably walk into Roche. They're going to be scouted by this ward of Dire, but they just now you just hunt enemy woods, right? You run in as a squad, and all of a sudden... Oh, no. They got him again. He had just tried to get that Helm of the Dominator creep, and he will get it, but it will also get got as they take it down. Resolution wanting to find a kill, and he is going to be able to run into X Nova here. Oh, wait, no. He walks into a sentry, though, and Disarm. they've got him. On. Disarm is there. He needs to TP out immediately, and he will escape, but... Dude. That man, feels How terrible. sick is that Halberd? That's the third time. Before the ultimate or the BKB, he gets disarmed. Sark has no counterplay. He's not just going to BKB preemptively to avoid the disarm. Yep. I mean, he could, but that just, that does not, that doesn't win him the fight in order to do that. Double Maelstrom and now into Roshan. We talked about earlier Chalice's Radiance online for the Brewmaster. They didn't have to expend split in that. They still have cooldown. They still have Earth Splitter, everything online, and they're taking these objectives. Well, you know what, bottom lane, we might see UR just pop Ghost for this. So they're going to see if they can get a trade of a tier 3 tower. Lane two, he's getting a kill. Okay, things working out as they've caught themselves. X Nova almost dead. He doesn't have enough mana. The axes are going to not quite hit. But this is a tier 3 tower taking some significant damage. Oh, I think you got a man up there if you're a war. You have, they have no BKB TP cancel. Get that tier 3, buddy. Resolution tried to interrupt it and. He ends up dying for the trouble. They've also found snaking it again. He does have TP as well as Shadow Blade, and well, it was never really going to be enough. Hey, let's get Gyro. I, I love the itemizations. Halberd into BKB into Maelstrom, and I can't find any fault with those items based on the way they played this game. Sanjanyasha BSJ. What do you think of that item? I would have just gone for like an axe, you know. Just said. Uh, I I like the I'm logic. Build the though. same items yeah. every game, you know. Th there's so many. Uh, like you have Beastmaster creeps. You you might hit. Um, Slark obviously not going to be affected by the eggs. Whereas the Halberd, like if you just get it off on Slark, I again point to the lack of damage on VGJ Storm. If you deal with one of their cores, and just survive, they can't win a fight anymore. I mean the Halberd's super good. They know that if they don't like, like you said, they just have to present themselves on the map against this Wisp lineup. But if you are against a Wisp lineup. The only way they control the map is by virtue of like threatening to kill you, and they just can't do that. And so I really like the Halberd purchase. I can tell you from a Slark player that is oh. an item you cannot deal with. Chalice over he here has found another super one. Super bad this game. And he's two items behind. They're going to be able to lift up that IO and take him down yet again. Spell magic in a second as soon as that wears okay. off. And <laughs> a little late. All right. The, the, glimpse. Do -do 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 -do. the rock is flying back and forth. It's like that movie Wanted. Mm -hmm. right, they're going to the go rock. for Ame here. They know he's alone. But they see him on the sentry, and he just doesn't care. They don't have any reach for him. Man. It's like the Slark had to take over, and he's tried, but 4-2-4 four, and four is not going to cut it in this kind of game. Shadow laid in. Look, snaking, running the disruptor, but he's found. Roar. Stomp on top. Able to interrupt that one. Meanwhile, a call down as Ame is just destroying this Death Prophet solo, basically, at this point. Almost dead, and with Somnus, they finish Four. it off. Four heroes are dead. Was there a fight? I, they, just, they just died. <laughs> you know how hard it is to play this well? Like, No, I no one's dying on the side of LGD. Well. Oh, I speak of the devil. Oh, the disarm once again. Oh, they got him. Before the BKB. Shrine is there. Resolution just wants one kill, and he will get it. The BKB about to wear off in a second, but he does manage to get his ulti yeah. and TP out of there. But in the meantime, they take tier 2 mid. 
And do you even threaten tier 3 here? You know Slark has no BKB, no ultimate. I think you do. You can split and just take a fight here in 10 seconds. Takiro's oh, in trouble. God, they just jump in and he's, he's gone dead. in an instant resolution. Oh, Chalice might be in trouble here. Okay. Six seconds to buy. It's to wait it out. Can they interrupt him nope. long enough? The call down. They've got him caught in oh Rezo dead. Yeah, this is looking just about as close to over as it can get without actually being so as they're chasing forward for more. They found themselves the Jakiro. DP coming off cooldown and going to be back in the just a second. But they lose just about everybody. Age is still being held by Ame as well. And Wisp thrown up in the air. You can't. Are you really going to press for more here, LGD? I mean, Why they have not? Aegis. No Slark, yeah. no Jakiro. Yeah. They don't have Split on Chalice, which is the one scary thing. And the Roar on the back lines. They found themselves one. They do take down the Disruptor, but that shows that so, no more yeah. Roar. We just saw Slark use all his cooldowns to kill a Disruptor. They lost one, Rax. What do you think happens now? Well, DP, BKB waiting now. They want to end up burning through this Aegis, it looks like. So he's coming back in just a second now. BKBs are going to be down soon. Snake King also there up front and center. They get the clap on a hand. Chalice now backing out oh, as well. Chalice. He might end up going down. So they do find one kill, but now Somnus able to take down MSS. And now with the BKB done, the disarm there on to DP. She is falling low and going to die. Double for maybe as they keep on falling by the wayside. And Somnus, has he gone a bit too far? Yes. Has another lift up and... He has a remnant, but they okay. take him down. Uh, but relocated SVG. aggressively. Okay, the stomp. FY just said, I don't want to be here anymore. He's going to try and run away. No TP, though. So he's probably eventually going to get ran down by resolution. Give him the essence shift stacks. Nobody hit him. So this one is looking very good for LGD. They throw away a little bit of a lead. It's still 17,000 into their favor. Yeah. That would have mattered a lot more had the Jakiro not been the one to end the massive kill streak on the Gyro. Or, sorry, the Ember. He got like 1,200 gold from that, but what's, what's he going to buy with it? Yeah. More awards. So Slark, as we said, Scotty was his choice. You didn't really care for the Nullifier build, and it looks like that's what he's going for next. But at least they for may now. be able to get like a few more snowballing kills off of this, like before the Ember's alive. That's what they kind of have to do: get something done. But I think LGD is gonna like sit in their base until that mm -hmm. happens. There's no reason to risk anything on their side. It's still just so hard to take a fight, right? Yep. And they do have buybacks on LGD, but they're not gonna use them. And I feel like Slark could be looking, but look at all these sentries, like on the side of LGD. They're just sitting underneath their tower with sentries covering every flanking path. They're gonna get two towers. And they might find Gyro. Okay. Oh, they see him. Uh, Reza needs to back out of there. That's BKB. a gem on the Brewmaster. Six seconds on his BKB now for resolution. He pops it and trying to run, but they still are going to have eyes on him. That BKB the old. wearing off now. They've got the gem, as you said. The static storm down. Resolution trying to TP out of there, and he manages to get it. That's a lot of space, both under the effect of Arcanor, so he'll have those up pretty quick. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. And Somnus has a Shiva's in a sec. He is so farmed. Bottom lane, just a solo kill possibly coming out from Somnus, but he, I guess, doesn't the... I thought they revealed the chains. So I guess no. not. And Beastmaster does have his Solar Crest also, so if you manage to you know, isolate one of these heroes, but with yep. Lincoln's up, it's just... You need so many things to go right. And, uh... Oh, am I going to go for Ags? Finish that Mjolnir. In the meantime, you're going to have Ember going Shiva's Mjolnir. So, once again, this, this Maelstrom item plus survivability seems to be the name of the game. They did this on the Viper Gyro cores. They ran yep. that elimination game against TNC. And you see the two Slide of Fist charges on Ember. Yep. I have not seen that talent skill before. Do you like the other one? Uh, I think the two Slide of Fist is quite nice in a game like this where they have to, like, somehow lock you down for enough time. You just become invulnerable for the period of two slide of fists and uh, I don't know how they actually you down you're just gonna it's like the equivalent of a Yules right it's almost like a phase shift on puck you're off the map they can't deal with you and then he has a Yules as well so by the time he's used both slide of fists and then a Yules he'll have another slide of fist worst case scenario and the Shivas is hitting you the entire time well, this smoke from Beachy J, they feel like they need to do something big. And they did just see the Ember flying back over the top of them with that remnant. X Nova. No, X Nova. 
there as well. Not, Not again. again. <laughs> well, they got him caught, and he drops the ulti immediately on top of him. Can they make anything else of this? Somnus jumps forward very aggressively. Still has that Lincoln's attacked, so they can't roar him. And instead, they're trying to turn off to the side. They get the lift up immediately onto FY with the Yule Scepter, trying to keep him alive. Not going to happen. Rezo still inside his ultimate. It's going to be on cooldown. Now they do manage to break that Lincoln's, but no more roar. Snake King cannot control him. That DP ulti doing a good bit of damage, but with the Brew Split coming out, it might not be enough. The Silence onto the Ember, still keeping him back, but DP is starting to fall, and no Yules, no more defense. She is gone. Resolution needs to get out of there, but they still have their sights set on him, and they take him down. Four dead from VGJ Storm, and now Barracks in the sights. Yep. I mean, Exnova just doesn't care. Yeah, VGJ, you've got 19 kills, but only two are on the real players that matter. Ame and Somnus. And three on Chalice, who's now third in that way. But, eh. I don't think they mind. X Nova's doing his job. Maybe has had such a great game, such a great tournament. 17 1 and 16 on this Ember. Resolution's searching for some kills, but I just didn't feel like a good start game. And it kind of seems like it's played out that doesn't, way. Doesn't feel like LGD is like forcing you to take. They know what you're gonna pick. You yep. know what you want. It's like ah, uh, it's gonna be Slark, but it's not a great Slark yeah. game. But like, it's what else be are you gonna Jikiro, pick? It's gonna be a but right. I don't like the pick. Yeah. And you, it almost feels like no matter what you do, the machine will have an answer for you. The machine. Yeah. The new name. LGD. I guess that. Uh, oh no. Oh, Jump Jikiro, forward. not again. I mean, resolution is there. They don't know about him yet, but I don't think it really matters all that much. They jump away. They might just find Io as well. Poor MSS, man. 15 deaths. I don't even blame him, though. Oof. Dodges the stun as well. They've got him caught and trying to relocate Close. away. That they looked up. He did the same in the previous fight. He's just, Ember is literally just hunting this Wisp. Every single team fight. Let's for now. Rezoing teeping, this is like their final straw. Unfortunately, it may look to go the same way as the Alamo for our soon-to-be-defeated American friends. Oh, man, too soon, dude. Cuts deep. And they have DP ulti. They, they've got, you know, some ways, but every angle is covered right now by LGD and Satanic completed on the gyro now. Just raw survivability and Mjolnir for damage. I think that this, we will see this more often, BSJ. Are you trying to tell me I should try these builds out? I think I think so. I okay. think one of the easiest ways to improve as a Dota player is to steal the best ideas from better players. And obviously you don't copy them blindly, but it's better than not copying them at all. Yeah, it's probably better than using your own ideas. Yes, that's what I've realized over time <laughs> as well. Chalice BKB Shit. just gives him the clap, the punch. Six hundo. See you later. Ow. And he goes straight into Roche. DD spawns. What a gift. It seems to happen a lot more than it should. You just recognize it. You notice it when it happens there. There's some psychology to that. I, I love X Note. Once again, his items are the same as they were in the previous game. Wards, wand, always a... Um, a raindrop, and then just straight for a ghost scepter when you finally have a little chunk of change. It just means that multiple heroes need to kill him. He can't just be soloed by the Slark. Somnus just forcing so much reactions to everything he's doing. I think back to that point over by the shrine, too, where he, like, goes back in, and you know he can't kill anybody, but it, like, buys time for the rest of his cores to get away, and he knows he can always get out. Yep. It's almost like when you have no way of dying, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. A last hurrah from Vici J Storm, possibly, and they need everything and a little bit more for it to work. As the stomp comes out, the Mjolnir proc just clearing the way for him. And that's dead MSS again. They got him. MSS is dead. Resolution pops the BKB. Going to die in the duration of it almost. He does manage to get his ultimate off, but Ame down to half HP already as well. Is still hanging on to that Satanic. Hasn't felt the need to pop it since he still has Aegis. Afterwards, double kill for maybe. Oh, Primus Silence. Bit. Silence. Chalice. Okay. He has no buyback. 
That's decent. They buy back on the IO as well, but he is about to die back as well as Somnus is already on top of him. They bring him down low. One last remnant. Ultra, ultra kill. kill for Somnus. And maybe looking at for a rampage if they want to. Or they can just back out since they did lose three. Back here. They lost the gem, which is unfortunate, but I don't think you mind. Nullifier looks to be the final item coming out from Ame once this Aegis fades. Can't say I I love it personally. It just means you you purge this Death Prophet Yules, you can prevent the BKBs. And it's just more raw damage, which a hero that has the ability to attack everything in range nine times always loves to utilize. Ooh. He's fine. Oh, he's anyway, gonna, stacks, he might though. actually die here. Nah, he's not. He has Aegis, guys. Come on. I mean, I mean he has... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Like, that seems like a massive overreaction <laughs> from Rezo there. What is he supposed to do? Sit there and watch him for five seconds? Pounce him. It's you realize that that's an uncleansable... Okay, it's three it's seconds. Three. It's three seconds, Pounce but it feels like five. Just pounce was. him, man. You got a six second pounce to leash? Mm -hmm. Six and a half seconds? Yeah, Rezo, Rezo did take the essence shift duration, so if he can get a bunch of stacks, you know, maybe that changes yeah, things. Yeah, pounce him. Give him the pounce. Please well, pounce. There There's the pounce. All right, H I mean, down. Have heroes. That's start. It's now, it's now or never, man. Pounce his ass. Get on him. Ame, though, pops the BKB resolution. They kill up the courier, actually. Ame, down pretty oh low. Oh my god, he's the gyro. Down. Not bad as they're taking him down, but Resolution eventually okay. going to fall. They do kill up Ame, but Rezo down for two minutes. What? Slark? How so? Whoa, did Slark die? He didn't ult. Well, Baby is going to clean up here, at least for the Snake King. All right, those heroes have no buybacks. A root down as well. All those heroes have no buybacks. And a double for Maybe. Buyback on one, but it's the DP. And she does not have ulti for well, 15 seconds. I feel like it, they had to make that play, and Rezo just had to play it a bit better. Well, at least Ame has no buyback. That is a so. positive. It all begins, oh, Armlet DP. Catch him off guard. Let's huh? go. <laughs> let's see it. <laughs> Give us the toggles. All right, let's see if they can make it happen. The Armlet toggles, they need it real bad. A lot of damage out. Chalice pops his ultimate, yeah. and here comes that the toggles. armor. Love that look, armor. Look at the toggles. There's the heal scepter. Let's pull back down yet again. BKB's up in five seconds. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Where was the toggle? GG. I don't even I think like, he tried to toggle. You guys, maybe, is just completely ignoring the cores of Storm <laughs> and just gunning for the supports. He's like, all right, Wisp. All right, check. Jakiro, got him. Check. All right, now I'll go help my squad. I'll slight chains off cooldown. But once again, like, just clinical. I, I can't really find many flaws. They continuously sacrifice supports at times. Uh, they make favorable trades all around the map. You look, they're connecting with two supports in a core. They find kills or a turnaround, and you look at the other lanes. Wait, there's still LGD heroes there. Like, they're not... You know, around this time of year, there's always one or two teams that start poking up that really yep. look scary. And, you know, this year... LGD is it their year? Yeah. And it's like, like VGJ, they didn't drop a game in the upper bracket, yeah. right? They dropped one game against Secret. Yeah. But coming into this, I'm I was still saying like LGD 3-1 or 3-0. Yeah. And right now it feels like a 3-0 almost <laughs> guaranteed. They lost they, they also have only lost one game throughout their entire lower bracket yeah. run and it, it's been incredibly it impressive. It was a huge comeback from TNC, and you could yeah. argue LGD like missed their critical window to win. Also, probably under underestimated just how annoying a core Omni would be with six items. But oh. this this is uh, they're saucing on them, saucing on them, saucy. Brian, I'd, any other thoughts about it? I I just feel like we mentioned in the draft, they just know what VGJ Storm wants to do, and they're just like, well, we're gonna let you have what you want if you want to pick it into crappy games, and. Like they didn't, we didn't think DP was a good pick, and they just pick it anyway. And it's like, I don't like picking heroes against teams that are known for that hero. That's my opinion. Is I feel like if they're really well known for playing Death Prophet, not only do they know how to play it, but they also mm -hmm. know how to play against it. It, it felt yeah. a bit forced, right? Where yeah. you're like, okay, well we can't give them Death Prophet, so we'll pick it here with our Wisp. And you look at the LGD lineup, and it just makes so much sense with how they can team fight, how well they can rotate, all cores able to play with the supports. You have the ability to hunt the Wisp, tons of reach to get on top of these heroes. And we said, like, Io Jakiro, how do you protect them? That turns out you can't. And Slark can't snowball. Beastmaster doesn't win the lane. Like, they have answers for every facet of the VGJ strategy. Mm -hmm. And that's just 
they play it to near perfection. The itemization, everything. It's yeah. just halberd gyro. Halberd gyro. Hey, it looked like the truth in that game. It's no, sure against Slark. Against Slark specifically. Yeah. Very good. Especially because even if you miss the halberd and he ults first, yeah. right? You're forcing defensive cooldowns for him to be able to threaten you offensively. And not to mention, it's a built in 25% evasion. Yeah, totally. 25%. Like, well, and the other thing that's great about it is that he took that health talent, so he's like yeah. doubling down on all of those yeah. other health He had 2,000 HP at like 17 minutes into yeah, the game. Yeah, it's insane. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's game number two uh, already under wraps, and LG looking to sweep here in game number three. Unless VGJ Storm have something to say about stay tuned. Potentially the last game of the LMDL Major is coming up right after this.